how are you doing today? Today, we're going to finish solving the mystery at the test of courage because it seems like a lot of spooky stuff happened last time. Well, we met the three yokai, but it turns out they're just playful kids that want to make play games with humans. Not you, but you can join too. <laughs> but then we met a scary ghost lady who seems to be good at playing uh, Akitsu Yuge, but does not uh, want to hang out with humans and is somewhat saddened by having fun with us. Anyway, Hazel is going to help us investigate now. Let's see, what, what does Hazel have to say? Let's go! Traveler, Paimon, please let me be your partner Yay! for the final round of the Test of Courage. I knew it. I picked all the animal characters from Inazuma like as my teammates <laughs> since you two throughout are the, the entire Test of Courage and course. my actual team. That's fine with Paimon. What do you think, Traveler? Of course, I want, I'd love to be your partner for the final round, Hazel. I have a few theories, but we don't have enough leads yet. Okay, There are some places fine. I'd like to investigate first, so you two can accompany me. Yeah, and I'll solve some more what? mysteries where with Hazel like now. I want to go back to where we first met up. According to your accounts, you encountered the ghost there and passed out. Okay, true. I believe there may still be some clues there. Alright, sure. Uh -huh. Well, we have Hazel with us, so there's nothing to be scared of. Are you of, worried Paimon. that she'll be waiting for us? If anything, that would make things easier. Yes. Agreed. My worry is that we won't be able to find her. Honestly, it'd save me a lot of trouble if she were to show up on her own. <laughs> wow, Hazel! You're fearless! He just needs to get the job the done. The cases you see, the less afraid you become. Yeah, he has a plan. When you have a plan, you can be less scared. Currents of life. Ooh, I guess we're gonna find out what that means. All right, come on, Hazel. Let's get going. This should be approximately where you first encountered the ghost. Mm -hmm. Of course, we cannot conclude whether the woman is actually a ghost or not at this point. But I'd oh, like yeah, to go over point. everything that happened again. Do you recall anything she said at the time? Are you talking to me? She told us to stay away. She to go near her, and she said if we didn't leave, our souls would become trapped here. Mhm. Mm Scary Paimon stuff. Paimon doesn't want to remember that moment. Paimon oh, shivering just thinking about it. And then what happened? Then we passed out. Then and Paimon started to feel oh yeah, that's what happened. There were ghostly that was pretty cool though, with all, all this the dark energy coming off of her. Paimon saw some sort of black mist surrounding the ghost, and then <laughs> oh, so much just bouncing up and down in the background. It's so distracting. Hmm. <laughs> Based on your account, it does really seem like you've seen a ghost. Exactly. So are you convinced it was a ghost now? It's possible, no, but I'm more because he's a detective. He needs a hundred percent proof than what she is. Yes. Even if she is a ghost, as long as she possesses some sense of reason, then there must be some purpose behind her actions. Mm -hmm. Wasn't she after our souls? She said that herself. Well, she said she'd come after our souls if we didn't leave. I think leave. she was just trying to scare you. Yeah, so she's probably scaring us oh, off from whatever she's actually you doing. Think so? Yeah. Think about it. If I had the ability to take your souls, then why go to the trouble of warning you over and over again? <laughs> Reasonable, Besides, I like that. <laughs> a ghost wouldn't have allowed you to walk away knowing about the secret of its powers. Hmm. That does make sense. Huh. Why didn't Paimon think of that? Because you're always too scared to think straight. But that's okay, we'll protect you, Paimon. I believe there are only two possibilities. The first is that she wanted to reap your souls, but there was some condition that had to be met. You know, like what we usually call a curse. Mm -hmm. But if you had really been cursed, then you would probably have noticed it by now. So probably not so, that. This is oh, the, the less likely scenario. I believe she was just trying to scare you away. And what she's actually Why doing. Did she want to scare us away? Mm. Oh, hi, she's hi, doing hi. something else and she doesn't want us Maybe in, she was trying in the to get way. Us to quit so she could claim the test of courage prizes. 
I don't think so. I think we were just interrupting her, and also she seems to be the kind of person that is afraid of coming into contact with humans or having fun with us. Oh, hmm, probably not. So why does she want to scare us? Do you have any ideas, Hazel? Yes, Based Hazel, explain to us. On your account, I don't believe she actually meant any harm. She just didn't want you to stay here. Yeah. But this evidence alone is insufficient to make any valid assumptions. She could very well be guarding some treasure or covering up a crime. Hmm. Good so, theories. My intuition is telling me that neither of these hypotheses are correct. Yeah. Let's continue I think she's trying, to, she's trying to do something. I don't, I'm not sure if it's malicious. She is trying to do something and we keep interrupting her. Uh, there are some footprints visible on the ground. However, upon closer inspection, they seem to belong to Hazel and myself. Huh, could that woman really be a ghost? Okay. I looked all around, but I haven't found any clues. Yeah. Looking up, there are a few branches that have been bent slightly downward as if something had been hanging from them. Uh, that doesn't... I don't see what you're talking about. But that does not sound good. That does not sound good, uh-oh. Hello, Hazel. Have you found anything else that we haven't? Have you found any leads yet? I noticed some branches that seemed a little unusual. Yeah, some tree branches seem like they were bent by something, but that's about so it. It could have been some sort of ritual that uh, she didn't I want us see. to interrupt, I think. After you left, I took a good look around the area. Mm -hmm. Aside from the bent branches, there are burn marks in some places, but that doesn't really tell us much. Especially since a lot of like energy was coming if off of the If only there was some ghost. more conclusive evidence. It's kind of been the burn marks. Excuse me. Uh... Sorry to interrupt. Oh, hello. Oh, it's you guys! What are you all doing here? We heard you were out searching for clues, and we wanted to help. Oh, that's really brave of yeah. you. Yeah. Uh, actually, we're also really unsure about what's happening here. Mm-hmm. We just asked the members of Mr. Ito's gang about what happened to them, and it sounded really scary. Oh, no. What happened to them? That lady is either a nasty evil spirit or a formidable yokai. Either mm. way, it's not good. B but we still want to hold the Mikawa Flower Festival. Uh huh. Okay. We long admired the friendship between Lord Kamai and the samurai, which is why we want to hold the Mikawa Flower Festival to return the favor we once received from the humans. Mm -hmm. Don't worry, we'll help you with that. But yes. Limited, we don't want this bond of friendship to vanish. The Mikawa Flower Festival is meant to be enjoyable for everyone. The Chinju Forest covers a large area, so it'd be great to have more help in the investigation. Yeah. Welcome to the team. Welcome Let's to the team, everyone. What's going on? Don't worry. We're very familiar with the area. We won't miss any clues. Okay. Investigate the little yokai's findings. Mm. Okay. I love how the pretty blowy flowers by the river. I've always loved this about Chinju Forest. Yes? Look what I found down by the river! <gasps> what did you find? Huh? What is it? What is it? Is it a scrap of black cloth? Hmm, I've never seen that. Is it like, like the dress before. that she was wearing? <gasps> This is a piece of shade cloth. Shade cloth? Shade cloth? What's that? Yeah, it can effectively block out light and is used in a variety of settings, including stage performances. Okay. There's a rough tear in the cloth, probably caused by a sharp stone, or maybe some branches. It hasn't hanging from the branches? Hmm. Suppose that a large shade cloth was originally hung from a tree, bending the branches. Yes. When the shade cloth was removed from the tree, perhaps one of the corners caught and the branches ripped it, causing a small piece of black cloth to fall into the river. Okay. Either she didn't care, or she was in too great a hurry. Perhaps she had other things to handle at the time. Hmm. But why would she hang shade cloth in the trees? Well, we're going to find I'm that out. We're all going to find but... out, Paimon. <laughs> Maybe she used it to create the atmosphere you experienced. Um, what do you mean? 
Let's not worry about that. For oh, now. okay. There's still many variables. But you mean like the scary, so. like dark atmosphere? Next, I'd like to investigate the place where the Arataki gang encountered her. Do you know how to get there? Oh, I know the way. <laughs> That's great. I asked the gang members where their encounter with the ghost happened when we were chatting earlier. I'll take you there. Perfect. Good. Please lead the way. Yeah, that's right. Let's go find out what's going on. Team Hazel's gonna figure this out. Follow the little yokai to the next investigation area. This place is so beautiful, even though it's supposed to be spooky in here. This is the place. Okay. This is not too far from where we they just were. They claimed that as they passed through here, the area suddenly grew dark, and some ghostly flames appeared out of nowhere. Hmm. Huh. That's just like, like what we experienced a couple times. We saw the very same thing. Mm -hmm. Let's start by taking a look around the area, just as we did before. Um. Uh huh. Uh huh. <laughs> okay. Sure. I found some sort of smashed ball under the tree. Oh, the inside like a, of it looks like, like it a was by smoke. And it oh, smells like, like a fireworks. like a firework. Let me see. I understand. There's oh, like we saw fireworks here on like, the first day. Right? I picked some up and sniffed it to see what it is. And Strange it stones. Really Ugh. I'm so tired now. But that also, I mean, that could also be the fireworks, but. I'm sorry, what did you say? There's some strange powder, powder in the cracks. Of oh, these powder! Stones. That's gunpowder. Okay, these are fireworks. Okay, but well, that makes sense because um, when we walked this way with Kazuha on the first day, they were fireworks here. Judging from the burn marks left on the scene, the ghostly flames you saw were not created by yokai power. Okay. Rather, they appear to have been caused by something flammable. Okay. I'm not sure what. So though. it's a firework. Well, we know that there's fireworks here. Mm. All right, Hazel, what's your verdict on this evidence? Hmm, similar scare tactics. And she didn't have the time to completely hide the traces. Mm -hmm. I believe we're closing in on the truth now. Are we? I'm almost certain that the woman you encountered was not a ghost. Oh. She possesses no extraordinary powers. She was merely scaring people with some small props she had set up ahead of time. Some small props? But can you really do all that with just some props? What we saw was absolutely terrifying. True, it looked very real. First and foremost, the test of courage contributed to the unsettling atmosphere here. You were initially frightened by your first encounter with these three yokai, and then shortly after, you ran into the mysterious woman. It was natural for you to be on edge. Mm -hmm. Because you were already tensed up, you were breathing more rapidly and inhaled a lot of sleeping powder that she had sprinkled around the area. That is what caused you to feel dizzy. Okay. That's when she pulled down the shade cloth and lit those so-called ghostly flames, creating a terrifying scene. Hmm, that's the most it likely It seems logical anyway. enough. It's something so doesn't it was add up all here. Just a show? Uh, she tried Are we sure it's all just a show? There is, however, still one loose end. The person who commissioned my investigation did become stranded on the beach as a result of some unusual Okay, but maybe that has something to do with these three little That okay? couldn't have been accomplished by just a few small props. But if she possesses such powers, why bother with the theatrics? Uh, yeah, we're definitely missing some key pieces of information here. Like, the story does not add up perfectly yet. But it's okay, we just got started. She can only use props to scare people in the forest. But she can use strange powers on the beach. Hmm. Huh. I see. I think I figured it okay. out. Okay. Whoa, that was Hazel's super smart, so yeah. If we rule out the potential of organized crime, then only one yeah, possibility she's working remains. Alone, so. I know who the woman is. Let's go to the beach. Is it the Shine Maiden? We'll come along too. Yay! I like these three. No. You should go back and oh, tell okay. the others not to be afraid and not waste their time searching Yeah, the I guess maybe the yokai shouldn't get the involved with the, the scary powers. It's time to put an end to all the unnecessary panic and await the outcome of the test of I, courage. I wonder if it is okay. the Shrine Maiden because be I thought it was suspicious the Shrine Maiden didn't have a name and just said if Shrine Maiden. If you run into any danger, simply call out our names. We'll be able to hear you. Yay! There shouldn't be any danger now, but thank you anyway. Let's go.
Just like Xiao. Let's search along the cliffs, huh? If I'm not mistaken, there should be a chunk of earth that's unlike the others. Well, you know what? Hayes was so many steps ahead. I don't I'm not even following what exactly what like try sometimes I try to solve the puzzle alongside of the characters, but Hazel is like a million steps ahead of me. I actually have no idea which pieces of information he just pieced together to get the answer. <laughs> and therefore I have no idea what the answer is. But Hazel is a genius. Um for anything unusual on the beach. Paimon <laughs> just floating while we, we do some digging. I knew it. I knew that you would come find me here. Uh-huh. That, that we there did. She is. Paimon thought you were a yokai like the others, but they said they never seen you before. So who are you? And why did you try to scare us? <sighs> yeah. I have already warned you never to speak to me. If you don't leave now, then uh, you know that seems really real. I'm not sure it's a prop. Yeah. <laughs> don't move. Just trust me. Your okay. yokai power won't scare us. It will only hasten your demise. Yeah, what he said. Huh? How did you know? Your yokai that emerged from an object and assumed a human form outside of your own body. When this type of yokai is close to its own body, it can use some yokai power, but that ability weakens as it moves further away. Hmm. And if the original body is destroyed, then the yokai that originated from it will likewise perish. Should I refer to you as a Hogoita spirit or Tsukumogami? <gasps> Don't bother. You may call me Hanyuda Chizuru. That is the name I go by now. Okay. Chizuru, why do you want us to leave? Maybe she doesn't want us to damage the object? If you're object? a yokai, you should understand why the other yokai want to interact with humans. Yeah. Besides, we had a great time playing Akitsu Yugen together, didn't we? Just like the story of Kamai and the samurai. Yeah. Yokai and humans yes. can be friends. That's why. That's why I don't want you to be sad, too. Sad? What do you mean? Hmm? I'm sure the yokai have already told you of the story about Kamai befriending the samurai. But they don't actually know the entire story. Oh, no. The samurai was about 25 years old when they met at the festival. They met again 10 years later I'm, and remained I worried friends. about that. They spent time together. The yokai live for a long time, but humans don't. When they had first met, they merely respected each other. But 10 years later, they became best friends. After another decade, the samurai had reached the pinnacle of his swordsmanship and won their duel by a narrow margin. Kamai was so astonished by his defeat, he gave up drinking and began training to become stronger for their next duel. However, another ten years later, Kamai did not meet the samurai. As it turned out, war had broken out in the south, and the samurai had gone to defend the border. No. Kamai was unconcerned, because ten years was nothing in a yokai's lifetime. But when they met once again, Kamai discovered that the samurai was already 65 years old. He couldn't believe his eyes when he saw the samurai's gray hair and scars covering his body. Hey, old friend. Can you still wield the sword? <sighs> I'm getting too old to fight. No. <sighs> this time, I've come to say goodbye. I see. Then, how about one last game of Akitsu Hazara? <sighs> All right. The samurai gave his best effort during the game, but had to quit halfway through because he was too weak. After putting down his agoita, Kamai remained silent for a long time before letting out a long sigh. <sighs> 
the shame. Yeah, I wondered about Shit that. started as something they looked forward to. I... And in just a few decades, it turned into regret. At the end of the, the cutscene in the last episode, I, when they said, we're going to meet every 10 years, I thought, um, every 10 years is quite a long time in between time for humans, and pretty soon he's going to get old. But for the yokai, that's not a problem. And then that kind of reminded me of Iwakura and the Tengu dueling until he finally was able to to defeat her. But then he was already like older by that time. So, so, yeah, I, I, oh, but that's so, so, well, it is part of life is what it is. Lord Kamai's appearance hadn't changed. But his dear friend in front of him had grown old. The joys of friendship gradually gave way to the pain of regret. People often say that those outside the situation can see things more clearly. And I learned a harsh truth after witnessing all of it. Everything that people come to regret is inevitably set in motion from the beginning. I mean, we yokai I guess that's are true, but from humans. Life is full we of regrets. The important part is to enjoy li the good things while you still have it. The same world. I mean, we I guess that's something that's hard for yokai to see, but for humans, we just want to cherish, and we'll cherish the beautiful moment we have, even if it leads to regret when later. The dream ends. All that is left are sorrowful memories and lingering pain. Hmm. Even a wise and seasoned yokai like Kamai felt sadness when it was time to say goodbye. Imagine what a pure and kind little yokai would feel. Oh. Yeah, I don't really know what so, to... You mean... If there's any argument against that. I was hiding on this beach, waiting for the last of my days. But those three yokai came and set up the Akitsu Yugen here, which woke me from my slumber. I didn't want them to approach humans with unbridled optimism and enthusiasm just because they'd heard the legend of Kamai and the samurai. That would simply be repeating the same mistake. Is that why you pretended to be a ghost? To scare all the people away from here? Oh, so you must be the one who trapped that guy on the beach. That was a little bit harsh, don't you think? Yeah, a little bit. My power has become pretty weak now. And most of the time I just use some props I've collected to scare people. I can't show myself when there are a lot of people around. But that jerk was greedy. He wanted to steal the decorations from Akitsu Yugen and sell them for a profit. Oh. That's why I Okay, well then I guess that's fair. To teach him a lesson that is fair. Ah, so that's what happened. You have a strong sense mm -hmm. of justice. By the way, how did you know the rest of the story about Kamai and the Samurai? Maybe she was there at the time. <sighs> it's okay if you don't want to tell us. I've already figured it out. Your true form is this pair of Hagoita, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Oh! Hagoita? So she was the Hagoita oh, in the story so she... between... Uh, the pair of yeah, Hagoita Kamai used by and Kamai and the human, the human samurai to play a Kitsu Hazura hundreds of years ago. You gradually developed sentience after being influenced by great yokai power. You were the closest to witness their story. Oh, that's Even why her dress yokai looks like the Hagoita. The Hagoita have started to rot away after hundreds of years. You can't sustain yourself, so you were forced to rely on props to scare people. And if my theory is correct, this pair of Hagoita is also the item we need to find for the third round of the oh. Test of Courage. So we win! Excellent work. You figured it all out. Oh, there's the shine man. Congratulations, in. little one. Hello, ones. other yokai, Yai Miko, who probably knew of all of this from the very start and Miko. didn't do anything about it just and to see what we would do. The shrine maiden? <laughs> Paimon thought you went missing. No. I apologize for causing you concern. It was Yeah, I bet Miko knew idea. it was gonna happen all from the start, but she just wanted to see what all of us would do about it. <laughs> well, what did you think? 
Were you scared? Do we get the grand prize now? Because fear is induced by uncertainty, <laughs> the more chaotic the situation, the better. Having the event staff also mysteriously vanish only added to the uncertainty. Yeah, it also added to the confusion of what to I do, but okay. Say, <laughs> I think this test of courage truly lived up to its name. Yeah. So you're the one responsible for all the scary stuff. <laughs> Look at us with our smug eyes. Go tell the others that the test of courage has ended and that we have Oh, it is Inagi Hitomi. Wait, that's Hotomi. Wait, Hitomi? In... Inagi Hotomi now is the I've one who's standing at the right front of the Grand Narakami shrine. So I'm just wondering, but her hair is different. To steal okay, so Hitomi exactly must be a different a shrine crime, maiden. Because she has bangs, and Hotomi doesn't later. have bangs. Oh, thanks. Goodbye, Hazel. <laughs> Nico, did you choose the Hagoita for the third round of the Test of Courage because you already knew about Chizuru? Miko, Lady Yai, you're... Yeah, the yeah, Miko. I followed Kitsune Saigu around the Mikawa Flower Festival one year and saw her play Akitsu Hazura. Mm -hmm. That was when I saw you. You didn't have a human form at the time and possessed only the earliest traces of sentience. I remember now. You were on Kitsune Saigu's show. Yeah, she was the little fluffy fox. I went for a stroll on the beach sometime ago. I guess neither of them had human forms back then. Power. Though your power was weak, I was still able to find you. You were sitting in a tree, gazing at the tourists below. I overheard you telling yourself that you must be patient and avoid contact with humans. Hmm. Huh? When was that? I didn't notice you at all. With your powers being so diminished, it was only natural that you didn't notice me. You must have been blaming yourself all this time. You knew Kamai and the samurai became friends as a result of Akitsu Hazura, a game connected to your existence. At the time, I couldn't take on a human form like this. I had only a hazy sense of the outer world. After they first met at the Mikawa Flower Festival, I felt proud to know that I had left a mark on their story. But after they said their final goodbyes, I could often hear Kamai sighing to himself. I couldn't help but hide, because I blamed myself. Aww. When I woke up again, the world had changed. It must have been a very long time ago. Lady Yae, you are a well-known yokai. You must know many more things than I do. So I have a question for you. People meet, become friends, and then go their separate ways. After such a short time, they leave only regret and sadness in their wake. Is it really worthwhile for us yokai to interact with humans? Why not? Tell me, how did you feel when you played Akitsu Yugen with the Traveler? Happy. I felt happy. Oh, that's why she's so good at the but, game, though, because she's mm, like literally she was formed was from wrong, the game, didn't it? <laughs> It turns out that there is still another piece to the story of Kamai and the Samurai that you are missing. What do you mean? The Samurai and Kamai never met again. Mm, but maybe they had no regrets about what happened. True, but the story doesn't end there. That Samurai's name was Yanagibashi Takuto, who also happens to be the founder Wait, of the Wait, there's another Sora branch Ishin of Ishin art? art? <laughs> it is believed that Takuto developed this style of swordsmanship while dueling with Kamai, who had also befriended the third generation heir of the Soran Ishin art, Tominaga Masanari. Five hundred years ago, Kamai and Tominaga fought side by side until their final moments, and the sword Tominaga wielded was passed down from Yanagibashi. The regret Kamai once felt had finally been resolved. Oh, yeah. I never knew. We yokai are not like humans, Humans have too short a lifespan, and the day will inevitably come when we must say goodbye. Yeah, that's why Yamiko has her light However, novels, basically. The bond formed by friendship will not keep be her broken, sane from all the people that on in a new come form. and go in her life. There's no reason to be upset by this. Time flies by in an instant, and life passes by like a dream. Mm -hmm. So, you must be happy in the present. You should understand what I mean now. Yeah. Hey, compadres! Ito, now is not the time. Okay, well. Ito, what are you doing here? 
Okay, you brought the little yokai friends. <laughs> you told me, told me everything, and I also heard that you won the last round. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah we did. We we uh, I we... know who the ghost lady is now. Anyway, <laughs> I had a little discussion with the yes. others, and uh. Uh huh. Hey, you're that fox lady. <laughs> Here. Ito's still so clueless. He has no idea who Miko is Please and Aya who Ayato is. <laughs> now, tell us what you discussed. But yeah, I would say that what uh, right. Miko is saying. Right, oh my gosh. Up. Yeah, to go off. Brush your hair. It's basically very much more like Makoto's idea of eternity festival. compared to A. It it's all everything in Inazuma really revolves around like those cycles of eternity. But with my help, it won't be a problem. That's right. Arataki, the one and only Ito, will be in charge of organizing the oh, best I love a Paimon and us. We're like the only ones who are not yokai here. <laughs> Hooray for Ito! Yay! Oh. Uh, can we really trust this guy with a festival? I mean, no, considering we went to that Drumalong hey, festival, like, say? earlier Besides this year, and... Me. Other people will help too. <laughs> Even my bro Ayato is gonna be okay, there. Okay, if Ayato's there, then I, it's gonna ready, be fine. And the festival will be I'm up sure. and running in no time. It won't be long until you can all join the fun. <laughs> yeah. You're the best, Ito. <laughs> Aww. You can come too, Chizu. Oh, like right now? Okay. It's like the Jumbo Long Festival, you know, just. Oh. Well, it's just the setup we had before, but more stuff here. Wow, well, look at and all my friends! What would the festival be without me? I'll be sure to go have a look too. Great. Ah, it has been some time since I've attended a festival. Fortunately, <laughs> I brought sake with me. Good, good, good. I just gotta admit, Ito does have his moments. Yep. A festival, delicious food, can't buy mine in. Do you want to join us, Tizu? Uh... Please? Alright, I'll join. If you don't mind, that is. Yeah, of course. Looks like the festival has started! Let's go check it out! <laughs> crab. There's a lot of crab garbage. Okay, we can go play games. And go talk to all of our best friends. <gasps> can we eat? Let me see. We can sit here and have a ramen eating contest between Yai, Miko, and Ito, or any of our favorite characters. Yay! I will sit here and enjoy the ramen, because I love ramen. This is, oh, it's a game. Oh no! I almost had it! <laughs> oh, starting to get the hang of it, huh? Keep trying! Yeah, I love seeing our friends make friends with the yokai. Oh, whoops. I want to talk with everybody. I didn't know that was going to start a thing. Ito and Goro! What are you two talking about? Oh, I see about? Ayaka up there with Sayu. Oh, I was just saying that if I had more time, I'd have built a massive fishing pond here. I mean, you're next to the ocean. Isn't the ocean a massive fishing pond? Fishing? You know, when I lived on Watatsumi Island, I used to just dive into the sea and catch fish with my bare hands. Yeah. <laughs> Take it from an expert, using your hands to catch fish is nowhere near as fun as using a fishing rod. I don't know. Just the probably other day, both I interesting fish so ways. big that I didn't even know how to handle it. I even wrote a letter to Yai Publishing House about it. <laughs> All right. That's an unusual problem to have. <laughs> True. Huh? A big fish? How come you didn't tell us? Paimon could have helped Yeah, Paimon could eat the whole thing. Huh? Y you? Wrote a letter to Yai Publishing House? <laughs> oh, Goro probably oh, had to answer it. I, I wrote to the That's Life column and asked Miss Hina for advice. Ah, she's so amazing. She got back to me. <laughs> this really this joke is too. so has gone so far. Oh, what a coincidence. I do some part-time work there and I recently received a similar letter. Goro. You mean the letter was about dealing with a giant fish they caught? <laughs> no. Could it be? Um, let's leave now. Don't don't ask. Could it? Be that there's someone as good at <laughs> We're still trying to cover up the fact that Goro no, doesn't know who Miss Hina watch. is. <laughs> hey, you all go enjoy the festival. I'm gonna get out there and catch an even bigger fish. Sure. Just you wait. I'll be inviting you all to my fish. Feast. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever works out. <laughs> Aw, the string snapped. I was so close. Uh, you'll get it next time. Yoimiya, this is more difficult than it looks. 
Can you really fish out these water balloons with a string? Don't worry. Let me show you a little trick. Just remember that your hand has to be quick. Yeah. Yo, yo, Tsuri! Paimon's seen this game in some light novels before! Do you want to give it a shot? Close one eye, aim carefully, and fish it out quickly. Yeah, she, she closed one eye. Oh, it looks kind of tricky. Paimon will let the traveler try. You have to catch at least three water balloons since there's three of us. Okay. Uh, but Yoimiya, if I close one eye, I won't be able to see anything. <laughs> Let's do it. Ready, Ether? Mm, oh. This ramen is so good. Yeah, it looks delicious. <sighs> yes, it feels like it's been ages since the last time I had yeah. some. Yeah. Hmm? You mean you don't get to eat ramen very often, Ayaka? But it's so delicious. Yes, so let's have some tonkatsu ramen. Oh, it's you. We'll need two more bowls of ramen, please. Yeah. Food like ramen and hot pot tend to have a lot of oil and salt, so I don't get to eat them very no. often. Oh, that's unfortunate. It's okay, we can all have some right now as a treat. I totally gets why Ayaka would put cake in the hot pot. Huh? Uh, nothing. Oh, uh, please. <laughs> No need to bring that up again. That was a long time ago. Phew, I'm stuffed. I'm feeling a little sleepy. <laughs> oh, I'm just gonna take a nap. Night night. By the way, were there any special stalls at yokai festivals in the past? Yes, but... Well, it's a long story. Yeah? Must have been very long time ago. Oh, the, the moon was already there, and the moon just moved a little more. <laughs> Chizuru managed to finally get one and gave it to Hitotsume Kozo. Oh, I guess we're bad at the game. <laughs> he looked like he really wanted it. Aww. But Paimon wanted one too. Oh, yokai looking out for other yokai. All right, then I'll catch one for you next time. Sounds Yay! good. All right, where to next? Hello. Come on now, this is way more expensive <laughs> than usual. Even if it is a festival, you shouldn't hike up the prices Toma this much. Toma the Haggler. Hey now, it costs money to run a stall. It's the guy who sells the masks over on the, 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 uh, the island, right? Uh, fair enough. How about five masks for 30% <laughs> off? Final Toma's off. really good at his job. All right, all right. Ah, Kazuha. Oh, uh, it's so hot. Feels like I'm being roasted here. Don't get too close. It's better to keep a few steps back. Yeah. I know. It's just so rare to see such a nice bonfire. I want to get as close as I can to enjoy it. There are many beautiful things in the world. There's no need to be anxious. Yeah. The festival has only just begun. Oh, beautiful advice. Good work, Kazuha. I was surprised that you didn't even tell your sister. It seems she was quite frightened, too. <laughs> These two schemers. <laughs> it would have been uninteresting had I told her what was going to happen ahead of time. Yeah, as long as Ayato side, knows that uh, Ayaka is going to be safe, then he doesn't need to tell her anything. <laughs> Having a little fright is good to release any tension she might have accumulated lately. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Everything went according to plan. People started to panic as soon as they sensed that they had no idea what was happening. Yeah, I knew it. These oh, two amazing. are always like... A million steps ahead. Yes. Well done. Same with, Yeah, same with them at the Iridori Festival. They did the same thing. <laughs> Have you finished exploring the festival? Uh, just about, yeah. Well then, are you having a yeah, good time? Yeah, for sure. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. great. The original Mikawa Flower Festival was much more lively. But even if you could attend the original, you probably wouldn't be as happy as you are now. Because it's always more fun to enjoy a festival with friends, isn't it? Yeah. Yes. I'm Thank glad you, you could come with us, Chizuru. Well then, I'm guessing you have something you want to say to him alone? We'll leave you in peace. Hmm? What did you want to say to us? Ah, you saw through me again. 
I can't help but feel you somehow know everything. <clears throat> it's not that I know everything. It's just that I've been in your position before. <sighs> yeah. Traveler, do you have a moment? I'd like to talk to you. Alone. On yeah, the sure. Beach. What is it? What do you guys have to say? Saying goodbye is also part of a festival. Yes. Mm, yes. Every celebration must come to an end. Mm hmm Hello, Yoko. I want to become a great yokai, like the mighty Urakusai. Then I'll be able to help create a real Mikawa flower festival. Yeah, well, we already got a good start here, so you're already well on your way. Mm. Are you enjoying yourself? How about we go yeah, in together? Yeah, I love that. This guy, he, this is not like one like Animal Crossing character that looks like has like the same kind of like this green duck. Isn't their name Captain? Like spell the K. <laughs> I think I need to take a break. This feels a tiny bit like an unintentional reference to that. Weird. Where did all the fish go? Don't worry. Let's go try another spot. <laughs> Thank you, Ito, for not. For, for never mind. Ito doesn't. Ito and Goro are both clueless, so none of them know what they just did. <laughs> oh, I sure bought a lot of stuff. I'll have to organize it all when I get back. It sounds like a lot of work to do, but it seems like you can handle it. All right, perfect. <sighs> One bowl of ramen shouldn't hurt, right? <laughs> sounds like you two are enjoying the food. Uh oh, how do I get out? Come on. <laughs> Wait, we have to do this. <laughs> oh no! I almost had it! Oh, it's starting to get the hang of it, huh? Keep, Keep trying. trying. Alright. Here we go. Where'd Hazel go? Hazel not at the festival? Okay, well, uh, anyway. The beach, the beach. Oh. You're over here. <laughs> Hopefully, it was really cool though how Hazel solved that. I mean, obviously, he knows more info about the yokai, but also just putting all those pieces together. Oh, what a genius. All right, here will do. Thank you for agreeing to come with me. Yeah, don't mention it. Actually, I was delighted when I first discovered that I could take on a human form. Mm -hmm. I was a yokai derived from a pair of Hagoita who came into being in the middle of a festival. So naturally, I enjoyed the lively festival atmosphere. I mm -hmm. wanted to go to more festivals. Must be beautiful. The first thing you ever see is a beautiful and lively and happy festival. And play with them. But every evening, as night began to set in, I recall the bitter smile of the old samurai as he set down the Hagoita and the lonely Kamai sighing as he drank his sake. Then I would wonder, if I became friends with a human, would that person experience the same melancholy in the future? As a result, no. I was convinced that I couldn't do it. I told myself I would not repeat that same mistake. Yeah. The yokai would see things from a different perspective from humans that for us humans, we're just trying to enjoy our short lives. But yokai are the ones that will live for a long time and remember all the pain and sorrow. And that will linger for much longer. But there's nothing worth regretting in this world when we were once happy. When beautiful things have happened. We can cherish those memories. I'm sorry that I spoke so strangely when we first met. I'm sure it must have scared you. It's not the scariest thing we've seen this, this month. <laughs> but when we met again, you acted like you had no trouble being around me. I Because it's not the scariest thing we've been through this week. Yokai. Or this one. instead of telling you the truth, I went and played a Kitsuyugen with you. Why? Hmm. I'm not completely sure myself. 
Perhaps it's because I've always wanted to be like Kamai and play a Kitsu Yugen with humans. Or perhaps it was because I knew I didn't have much time left and I didn't want to be alone. I see. Anyway, thank you for taking the time to play with me. Of course. Don't worry. When we played Akitsu Yugen, Paimon said the loser would have to grant the winner a wish. At the time, I wished for us to never cross paths again. However, you still came and found me. Meaning, <laughs> you never oh, granted look how my wish. little smile. So... Can I make another wish? You know, to make up for the fact that Aether and Lumine don't really talk that much in the game, they they make up for that by giving them some of the most expressive emotions, like facial emotions. Like, look, look at him just smile, of course, as long as I can fulfill it. Let me think. I wish for you to remember me. Uh, no, I only have one wish, so I better make it count. Don't worry, I will remember okay. you regardless. Listen carefully. My wish is... I wish that every day of your journey ahead will be filled with joy like a festival. Oh, goodbye. Goodbye. I will. I will enjoy. Oh, now it rains? <laughs> no. Well, that was beautiful, though. Don't worry. I'll keep your wish in mind and I'll make sure that every moment in this journey is worth remembering. All the pain and sorrow, but also all the happiness and joy in all the people we meet. Every year when the fireworks go off, I say to myself, another year has already passed. Yeah. As each year passes by, your life gradually approaches its end. But I don't think that's a bad thing. Like I always say, fireworks are for now, but friends are forever. Yes, that's a beautiful time for this quote. Hi, Did you wake up from the fireworks? Uh, no? I've grown taller. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so tall. Everyone else looks so tiny now. <laughs> <sighs> I'm surprised the fireworks didn't wake you up. Hey, wait a minute. Miko. Ayato. <laughs> Was that- was- is there another grand prize besides the grand prize of like a beautiful storyline and a tear- teary, um, bittersweet ending? <laughs> so, did you enjoy the test of yeah, courage? Yeah, I did. Regardless of prizes. Once I learned of the yokai's intentions to hold a festival, I wanted to spread the word and attract people to their events. I see. However, it occurred to me that doing so might be overly ambitious. If we marketed the Mikawa Flower Festival from the get-go, People would have arrived with insatiably high expectations. So I decided on using the test of courage's notoriety to attract visitors and left the rest to the yokai. Smart. I <laughs> had an inkling that their presence would spice up the event. <laughs> <laughs> well, sounds like you had a plan. When Ayato approached me about holding the Test of Courage event, it dawned on me that this would be the perfect opportunity to help Chizuru face her problem. Mm -hmm. Kamai and the Samurai's parting was one of the first things she experienced when she was partially sentient and didn't have her human form yet. This was a very traumatic experience for her, and she could never come to grips oh, you with know it by reasoning alone. This is also a little bit like Skyrimish. to directly interact with humans. Their earliest experience no is a traumatic sad. memory that they don't know how to cope with. <laughs> oh, that's so she Aww. I love the Inazuma character so much. <laughs> will you be here for the next Kinkama Flower Festival? Of course I will. I would love to come again. 
After hearing Chizuru describe the original Mikawa Flower Festival, I wanted to arrange another chance to talk with her about it. I didn't expect that would be our last conversation. Mm -hmm. It's okay. Whatever you come up with, Ayaka, I'm sure... I'm sure that would make... Um, Chizuru very happy. It'd be great if festivals like this are held every day. Yeah, well, it's, life's not like that. Oh, I see Hazel right there. I've been practicing for a really long time, so I'll actually scare people. I can finally take a break. Yeah, okay, well, you didn't do a very good job. Ah, these two are meeting! This is the first, our first official meeting between Hazel and Kazuha in you. Will you have some time in the next few days, Kazuha? I'd like you to work on a case with me. <laughs> oh, did you run into some trouble? Not exactly. It's just an old case with almost no tangible leads. But I believe your attuned sense of nature might allow us to discover some new clues. Sure. I can stay after the festival and we can go investigate together. Yeah. Great. Thank you. My pleasure. It's no trouble at all. <laughs> Hazel and Kazuha interaction. I love it. Uh, alright. Let's see. Kazuha. I'll always treasure this water balloon. Yeah. That's right. Even though I knew my lord had most likely <laughs> planned everything before the test of courage even began, I was still caught yeah. off guard. But in retrospect, it was a lot of fun. I know, it's a lot of fun to be part of Ayato's plans, isn't it? He always seems to make it fun for let's us. Let's just hope the rain hasn't washed all the clues away. Yeah, let's hope. The sales are rapidly increasing today. We're almost running out of stock. <laughs> yeah. Any fish? It was, uh... Heartbreaking to learn of Chizuru's story. Oh, yeah. To be honest, I experience that same kind of sorrow when I'm on the battlefield. I don't know when I'll lose my comrades. So, I try to appreciate every moment. Yeah. <sighs> Lifespans, partings, it really gets you thinking, doesn't it? But, uh, I got nothing. Yeah. All I know is I'll never regret Aww. meeting you. <laughs> Thank you, Ito. And you know, for, for Ito as also being a yokai, probably will live a long time. Um, you know, it it feels nice to know somebody will remember us like a long time from now. And in that sense, it's like Ito is very good at living in the moment. You know, not being sad about the past or future, and just just enjoying all the friends he's made now. I love playing with humans. Me too. Oh, look, it's it's the it's Kamai and the samurai. Not all the oh, this is so nice. Wow. This is wonderful. I love this event. They've done such a nice job with it. Uh, goodbye, Chizuru. But do not worry. I will remember your wish. Okay. Let us let us go. And start the tricolor dongo sweetness. There you go. That's a good one. Uh, so I'm gonna have to strategize here as much as I can. So for the other one where I couldn't get a 4,500 score, I tried over and over again, and then I realized maybe I should use the modifier that increases my combo score, and then I got like 20,000 points. And I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> I guess that's the this is the current strategy. Okay, let's let's actually if I you know, if I I gotta change the elements sometimes. Oh, that show seems to be really good. Uh, oh. No, 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 I thought the wall would bounce that one at the last second before it disappeared. Okay, okay, okay. Yes, yes, yes. Although, here's the thing. You know, this game's meant to be played with a Hagoita. What, is this big block thing we have, does that count? <laughs> not, not pretty. Oh, I guess, but I guess then again, they did, the, the three yokai did say they modified the game. So I guess now instead of the, the paddle, we now have this giant rectangle block. <laughs> yes, 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 snipe it. Good, 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 good. Ah, I should switch to Ayaka now. Let's 
yes, yes, we got it. We got this. I'm getting so focused. <laughs> Yay! Alright, that was fast. Alright, now endless mode time. Endless mode, and this time we're going- if I notice the score is not going up as much as I can, I gotta switch- I gotta switch up, um, the strat a little bit. Okay, like, I gotta go my normal strat. Actually, no, you know what? I want the combo bonus. Because I'm not taking any chances, and I don't need the longer- I don't need the longer rectangle. We, we got this. I'm- I am okay at the game. Okay. No, no, It's not going to go. I want to start, but yeah. Okay. It's fine. Because Electro seems to be pretty good when there's not Electro here. No, I lost one of them. No, no, no. No! Okay, okay, okay. Okay. So I'm not expecting it to come back at me so fast. It's okay. We got this. We probably got this. No, 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 I- No! Alright, well. It's okay, it's okay. As long as I get my 4,500 points, we are super good. We are super good. And we have plenty of time here, so I, I, I'm assuming that'll be fine. So many things to pay attention to here. This. It would have said those electro box when I finally get the chance to. Uh, uh oh, one of them left. Two of them left. It's okay. Alright, all of them left. <laughs> That's right. Let it bounce all the way around. <laughs> Since it comes back at me really fast, I don't. And I need to either. You know, move that fast. Oh my gosh, if it weren't for the wall behind me, I think we'd, I would have lost so, so many times already. Like, uh, see, the wall, the, when no one's got you, the wall's got you. <laughs> Am I right? Alright, so we definitely got our good score. <laughs> okay, well, I kind of literally dropped the ball on that. <laughs> uh, okay, okay, we got this. There's not that long, long left, that's fine. I get so distracted with trying to shoot the thing back that I miss the ball. Although we don't- we're good, we're good. Yeah, we are so good. See, now I, now I know to equip that thing, now I get higher combo bonuses. Uh, okay, let's see. Uh, uh, um. Yes, yes, yes. All the primo gems are mine. Um. Okay, next. How about a round of Akitsu uh, Akitsu Yuge? Mysterious voice. Maybe that's Chizuru's voice. Who knows? Could be. Her spirit lives on in the game. Okay, these two. Are good. <laughs> All right, let's go hydro the sun. No. Okay. Well, <laughs> that's what I want to have happen on the other side. Such a terrible joke. Electro seems to be really good. A lot of reactions. Uh oh, I can't focus on switching the character and and trying to just figure out where the balls are at the same time. Sometimes. <laughs> Yay! Elemental jumbo. I see. There's a lot of different elements there, I agree. Well, we just gonna have to, um... 
pay attention. But that's okay, I can do that. Okay, okay here we go. Get my usual ones out. There we go. Let's do it. Let us get all the rewards. Okay. So this time I want to launch this back. Okay, well, I want to launch it back there so it bounces around. Like that. Good. Okay, but now I can't see it, so it's hard to watch for it. So I'll just stay here, just, just, just so I can, you know, avoid any issues. Okay, it might come back soon. No? Yes? No? <laughs> I'm just gonna stand here. Uh-oh. Alright, don't just stand there. Get ready. <laughs> No! No! Alright, uh, then we'll do over here. Bounce around more so I can get my like bonuses and stuff. Come on. Okay, we gotta switch this up. Okay. Since electro seems to be so good, let's let's do some more electro. There seems to be a lot of things here that can react to electro now. Now that I got rid of most of the wa water ones. Actually, water can all they can all react to the they can all react with each other. But they're all good reactions here. You need to get the ones at the back. Come on. Please, I'm running out of time. Please. Oh, there we go. Now we're getting some stuff in the last 30 seconds. No. Please get it. Please snipe it. Please just snipe it. Oh, I can snipe it with the shots. Or maybe I can't. Um, okay, like, in theory, I feel like I should have been able to get... Okay, come on, come on, just, 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 last 10 seconds, we can get it. Can we? That'd be nice. Oh, we're so close. No, 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 <gasps> no way. <laughs> Wrong one button. No! Well, <gasps> we did it in the last, like, four seconds? All right, well, I guess that's that. It's, that's done. All of the elemental jumble. <laughs> Huh. I don't know how I did that, but I'm not gonna question it. Not at all. Okay, here we go. Now let's see. Who's the final boss today? Whoever it is, we will win against it, right? Mesmeric Marine Maiden. It's a mirror maiden, I see. Uh, well, my usual, my usual would be really good. Well, but this one, I, I'm not really... Do the points matter? I haven't had a problem with the points so far, so I, I don't need to equip the combo thing. Alright, here we go, here we go, here we go. Last one. How about a round of Akito Yuge? Let's start. Ready? Steady? Okay, go! Yes, 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 we got... We got, we got them. What do those mirrors in the back do? Oh! Oh, that's actually a little trippy. There's the mirrors that kind of bounce things back and forth back there. Uh-oh, there's a lot of things going on here. All at once. This, maybe, I don't know anymore. <laughs> Wait, already? No way, that was too fast. Did I actually? <laughs> Did I actually? <laughs> oh my gosh, this is fun. 
No way, no way, no way, no way. Did I actually do that? <laughs> that was that was so fast. Alright, well I guess we did it. We got all all the thingies. Now I can buy everything in the shop, I hope. Right? Get this, get this. This should be enough for everything, right? Yay! Perfect! Alright, we've reaped all the rewards here. And... The battle pass. And we got some wishes. Let's do, let's do some acquaint fate wishes then. I got five of them. Hey, maybe we'll get a five star here. Maybe we'll get like Tainari. Maybe we'll get Kuching. You know, since I always win the 50 50, this is pretty much the only way for me to get the non. the. the. the losing the 50 50 characters. Oh, please, Cookie Shinobu. <laughs> Alright, well, that's fine. Uh, who else? Who else? Who else? Nope. Okay, two more. No. Nope. Of course. Hello, Harbinger of Dawn. Finally, here we have nothing. All right. Well, that was about as eventful as I thought it would be. <laughs> All right, but yeah. And let's enjoy the bonfire. Let's enjoy the wonderful uh, Mikawa Flower Festival that's set up here to help bring all the humans and yokai together harmoniously and happily because everything's more fun when we go to the festival with friends, right? All right, that is all for now. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye!